Hey everyone, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Generally, I try and coach this for people who are more intermediate because if you're a beginner, you still got to work on your weapons. Anyway, today we're taking a look at Thailand versus India, uh, Baku 2023. This is a preliminary round, but I thought it was interesting because it went to round three. I have not seen it yet. I just know it goes to round three and it's very close. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And for those of you who are new to the channel who don't know who I am, my name is Chris. I was on Philippine national team for eight years. I made AAU national team. Uh, once I made US A collegiate national team. I've been to three world championships. Um, I did it, and my highest world rank was rank 23 heavyweight in like 2013 or something like that. So let's get into it, shall we? If you guys are fairly new, Thailand has always been a strong country. They've housed multiple world champions already. India is up and coming, though, because they now have a, a former coach of Iran is now the coach for India. So India is starting to get good. They're just going to be on the map soon, I think. If not, if they're not already, they might be. Nice back leg by Thailand here. That was, pretty, that was actually pretty clean. This is something where it's like, I wish this would hit more. Good timing between the, the cut. I would not really recommend that yet for most people because you have to have really good timing to make that happen. Okay. This Thailand is great. Great skill set here. So he's got a back leg, he's got a back kick. Ready He's got all he's got weapons on both sides. So usually when you're cutting and doing this front leg game against the newer game. You're going to be fighting front leg against front leg. But this guy, even though there's a front leg, he's able to go back leg and he's able to spin. So, good job on his part. He's just racking up the score. Let's see here. Okay, poked behind underneath the arm. I don't know if you guys saw. I'm going to rewind this just so you guys can see this. This is how it hits. And so far, it's just a lot of pressure. This is first round, round of 64. So, both fighters are kind of just warming up here. But it's kind of a it's slugfest already. They're they're not really like. So I want you guys to see this. It's gonna hit up here. So he didn't. It, it's behind his arm, but because he pointed his toes, it's hitting the back of the headgear, so it scores. So that's something we were working on in 2019, right before I retired from fighting. Was when you're kicking to the head, instead of kicking like flat like this, because usually this is your leg, right? It's coming up flat. If you point your toes, so you make an L with your foot, so it's like this. If they block it, it'll still get past the guard. And hit the headgear so this like i said this is not necessarily for beginners because beginners you should just learn how to throw a round kick very fair and square get the hip rotation get the speed up make sure your knee is traveling in a straight line but if you're more advanced now now we're looking at accuracy we're looking at little tactics that you can use inside the game um, so when you kick a, a little tactic you can do is flick your foot up or keep your foot loose so even if they block it if your foot's loose and it's flat and it's stiff it's not going to get past there but if it's floppy or if you point it It'll flick past the past the arm and get it. So good job, good job by India there. All of India's attacks have been right leg, which, holy cow, these are sensitive hokus. Um, all of India's attacks so far have been right leg in the front, generally speaking. So it kind of plays right into Thailand, who's has that back leg right. Uh, back leg round kick and the back leg back kick. It's not using any more here. Yeah, this is a score. Yeah. What India is going to have to do now because Thailand's initial defense against this. Oh, nice, nice job in the clinch. I was, I was about to say that. Thailand's, uh, what I was about to say was Thailand's initial defense is good. So whatever's coming up with the cut, whatever's coming up with that front leg, if it's a flick, flick to the face, cut kick to the body, doesn't matter. Thailand has either the back leg body, he has a spin, or he has a crashing punch. And so the initial defense of Thailand is strong already. So what you'd have to do if you don't have any of these more, if your weapons on the outside can't beat him, you have to accept that that counter is coming, or you close the distance really fast, you can Jin Se Obey it, or Jin So Bay, I'm trying to get better pronouncing that. Close the distance fast. You can blitz it with footwork. Close the distance fast, and then see how he is on the inside game. And so, and here you can kind of see here. Boom! He's trying to follow up because he knows he's moving back. 
and then he goes for the inside shot. He goes for the inside shot there, because maybe he's stronger there. It seems like Thailand's game on the outside is much better. Like right here, I think he almost just scored that. I don't know about these front hand. I don't really know how to coach or help you with these front hand punches because I think they're weird. But they score, so just keep that in mind. Nice. So, India has both left and right leg uh, in the front. Strong. Oh, what a scrappy fight. Now, I'm not I'm not saying too much because there's a lot of techniques being thrown. So what I'm trying to look up for like more of like setups, like because you can throw a bunch of techniques in around, and if if your strategy is random, your results will be random. So what I'm looking for are things where it's like okay, so this one is a situation where he has the idea he has to fight more on the inside. Thailand's already ahead though because his initial defense is really strong, and he, he got he got the lead in the beginning of the match already. India doing the right things, trying to fight him in the clinch because he doesn't. There doesn't seem like too much of a response out of Thailand when he when he's in the in close, in close fighting. It's on the outside. Whoa! India well trained here. Great scorpion kick. Ooh, clean, clean. And he hit it too until the last little bit. I think they gave the points to the wrong side. Let's see where it shows up. Yep, yep, yep. Ba, 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 ba. I don't need better help. We don't need better. We don't need. Well, if you need better help, this is for you. I don't need better help. I don't know why they keep advertising to me. I need my gym to be open earlier. That's what I need. And you go on that back leg now. Yeah. All right. So I get there wasn't too much strategy. It was a lot of just technique after technique. The only shift I really saw was that India was starting to fight him more so in close rather than outside because it seemed like at the beginning of the round he's pressing with that front leg. He's just getting countered left and right. So he said, okay, we're going to scrap that part of the game, go on the inside now, try and score there. And he was able to make up some points. And second round will be interesting because I don't know either of these players, so I don't know their, their strength per se. But it does seem like. India's game is going to be not use the front leg so much, maybe use that back leg a little bit more, and then fight on the inside. Closing distance. Ooh, very close. I wonder if Thailand's going to bring the aggression this one, because last time it was India really bringing the aggression. He was kind of sitting back. I wonder if Thailand will take the pace of the game. And so if you can tell like India is not really he's doing like this weapon here is not um, this isn't really scorable it's just a close distance he's not even extending all the way he's like not really trying to hit from distance boom in the clinch trying to find a way out good little arm maneuvers there See, the, the whole game is just to hit on the inside after now Thailand I think is wising up to it they're going to try and battle it out in the middle in the, in the clinch A little bit of outside game. Keeping a close stance. I don't know if India is doing this on purpose, but they're keeping a close stance to deny the punch. Yeah, it seems like, well, definitely a lot more tame now. Nice short kick. I didn't think that was scored. What is scoring now? What? What is happening? Okay, what's the first thing that scores? Boom, on the outside. India has this really nice short kick, which I, I love. This is super sick. I think it's really sick also because I used to use that kick a lot back when it was old school sparring. So it's kind of cool to see it come out again. Okay, he scores underneath. While, while navigating this front, oh, this, this thing stuck to the head. Nice. Underneath, and then India gets another one. India, okay, and he gets one on the out on the way out. Oh, whoa, whoa, scrappy! 
So India is now so India's starting to wise up. Instead of moving back, Thailand's starting to meet him halfway. So India's kicking all of his kicks short with a super bent leg. Or head kick. I mean head kick is also a short kick. But you can tell like if you can I don't know if you can see you guys can see this, but you can see India's legs here are bent on the way in. So here, they do this. This little crash crushing kick is because he assumes Thailand's coming in. So good guess. Good job by Thailand not to let that out. But like this one right here. All the kicks are short, bent, and they're tight because he knows that Thailand's gonna have to Thailand wants to press right now. In this phase of the game, it seems like he's read the adjustment. Thailand's gonna crash with a punch, try and make up some points. And so and to counter that, you can either one is go to the head, or two, it seems like India's done a good job of finding the opening on the flank using really short tucked in kicks. Good job by and what's what's eating India alive right now what's what's killing him is the follow-ups he's he's getting his first one or two points in but because thailand is more well trained to follow up in the end of the exchange he's getting india as india's on the way out or as india thinks the exchange is over he's not he's not guarding himself as much and that's where all the, I think the last four points from thailand have been coming out of the clinch after india's done his his stuff like india thinks the exchange is over i got my last kick in and then the point comes in right after Nice try. Oh! India's uh, athleticism is really, really impressive to me, actually. I, I gotta just say, that's really impressive stuff there. Motion. They're both trying to kick. They're both kicking short now. Because they're expecting each other to come in. Oof. That's what I'm talking about. Like, where India's not... India has, like, one or two counters. Boom. Here. Kick, kick. He's just not able to recover fast enough. Short again. Nice try for the spin. I wonder what division this is. This is I gotta check what the division is because there's a lot of exchanges going on. Nice. I guess both just got him blocked to the head a little bit here. Easy for me to say, I'm on the outside watching something where I can rewind. <laughs> oh man. India's great, great little great athleticism. The and the the different a, a large variety of weapons. Um Okay. Doing better. Thailand seems like he's getting tired. India's starting to get the better advantage, obviously, on the inside game here. What'll be interesting now is if they start using uh, Hujins to mitigate the short kicks. Nope, they're still going forward. Never mind. Addition of the punch might help because if they're crashing already, India knows he has to come in. So, the reason India's kind of doing doing well one, the reason India's doing these short head kicks is because obviously Thailand's gonna have to come in. But the whole rest of the game has been Thailand coming in, right? So he knows to kick short to the head because he will eventually run into it. Much like the short bent kick that he was doing earlier to the body, that's the same idea but to the head. So he's short, short and bent, short and bent. Everything is super short. So that one also, kind of a shorter one. If he had crashed in on that one, it's easy to just to swipe that over to the right and he would have ran into his foot. And what I, if, if you guys are watching, new to the channel, I'm a big proponent of what India is doing now. If you're ahead, don't let up. Like, just keep the pressure on. You don't have to be fully committed as he is. But if you're fully ahead, don't let up. It's like, oh, there's 10 seconds left. I'm up by two points. I'm up by one point. And then you sit on defense and let the other guy think for seven, eight seconds to launch an attack. Like, don't do that. Keep the pressure on him. So let's see how this turns out last round. Interesting, starting to use the slide backs now because they know the kicks are coming short, so you want to mit you slide back just out of the way to counter. It's interesting to see Taekwondo go back into the distance game after all the front leg weaponry. Nice punch. So, Thailand's sliding back. You can counter that with either a double pump or you can slide in twice to cover the distance. 
Poseidon, so I just cover the distance. Yeah. India's trying to bait him to, to go in, and Talon's doing a good job with that punch. I think there's... Oh, <laughs> nice try on the timing reset. I applaud, I applaud India's attempt. Uh, so... Thailand is doing a great job using his punch. Obviously, it's scoring. He's able to just... He's waiting out the... He's waiting for... Essentially, India's like a sniper rifle, right? He has a sniper rifle. He's shooting. Reloads, shot. Reloads, shot. And in between, do it while the reload, that's when Thailand's coming in for the punch. What India's trying to do, he's actually, he's actually trying to like... Have him... He's trying to shoot his sniper rifle, and then he has a shotgun ready. So, he shoots the sniper rifle. He's thinking Thailand's going to run in, and then I can pull out the shotgun, and it's easier to hit him close range. And that's kind of what India's trying to set up, but... Thailand is doing a great job hitting him in between the sniper shot while he's trying to pull out the shotgun. That's when the punch is coming in. So, good job to Thailand. Try, good job for Thailand mitigating this at the distance game. Looking for the short. Okay. He's trying to fish it in for... He's trying to get it in for the, for the clinch. Oh, and then what I was going to say was, so if you guys don't know or have been over this before, timing reset is as soon as either the ref breaks and it's about to go up, most fighters, most, I'd say it's 70% of the time, most people chill for a little bit or they think about the game plan and then they move. If you're going right when it's going up, I call it a timing reset because you're resetting right away and you're throwing off the timing. So right after the ref is going up, that's when you're closing the distance. The other person generally isn't ready for that. The second version of a timing reset is you, the exchange. Usually you exchange, you exchange, you exchange. You sit and then both fighters are like kind of trying to catch their breath. But in a timing reset, in this sense, you go exchange, exchange, exchange. Bounce instead of bouncing and continu continuing to bounce. It's a reset the game. You go exchange, exchange, bounce, and then you go in again. So that's the second version of a timing reset. This time was the one where the ref's pulling his hand up and you're going because most, most fighters don't really expect it right then. So good try, good good try by India here. If our India kicks short, start kicking short to eat distance before, and then wait until he comes in to try for a headshot. Because because why? Because if why why would you do that? Because if India is kicking or if Thailand is scooting back on your kicks, number one he has the distance to scoot back. And number two, if you're kicking long when he's doing that, then it's easier for him to time the punch. So India's, what he was trying to do earlier was he's trying to kick mid-range so that way when Thailand decides to close, he can just cut or he can flick to the face or something like that. He can do some kind of mid-range kick to score as Thailand is coming in. The reason I would start doing short kicks, non-committal short kicks, is because you can do that safely even if he slides back. If, if he's coming in close, you're just going to run into it. You can do that to eat some of the distance away first so he doesn't have that distance to slide back. After you've done that a little bit, or he's because there's also the rule you can't slide back more than twice. Uh, after you get him to slide back once or twice, you know he has to come and you're ready. Like You've been eating distance, but you're not overextended and your kicks are non-committal. So you're ready on the reset for whenever he does come in, you can add some speed onto it. So that would be, if I were India right now, that would be maybe part of the strategy. Or you can do uh, that Iranian style punch where you just close the distance with two Hujins or two Chunjins and a leg pump and then um, get that punch in. Going for the head. Now he's going for these mid kicks. He's wait he it's kind of what I was saying. Like he knows Thailand's gonna have to come at some point. Good try. Tyler's doing a great job maintaining the distance or reading reading this outside game though. Timing reset by Thailand there. Short. That was not that was not bad. Those that's what I'm talking about. Like those non-committal kind of short mid-range kicks. The only issue is that he let it, Thailand get all the way in to close it and then they reset, so. More, 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 more. I think India's gassed. That's he's not exchanging as much as he did second round. I mean, previously too. That's like those were kicks where India was trying to score and he's not able to. Uh, now I think probably because lack of power, lack of speed, maybe fatigued. And keep in mind, this is round four oh five, meaning this is round, ring number four, match number five. This is probably their first fight. So those pre those first fight 
jitters that first fight heaviness is still sinking in the legs in my experience it takes about one fight or two fights to get that out and before you're like okay now all of my conditioning is sinking in all the adrenaline dump has been released from my legs right now the adrenaline is probably still sitting in there and their legs feel hell their legs feel super heavy so that's what they're they're fighting against oh my gosh india's Great bagging. How is this set up? Well, one is because that's may have just he's kept a hit in the whole match. I didn't even expect that, which is semi rare. Oh, so sweet. It's just um I mean, did did Thailand even I don't think Thailand even uh did he even do a back leg? He didn't even do a back leg. It may have been he just read it as if Thailand does anything at all. If Thailand's coming in, if he's trying to close the distance, we'll just hit the back kick. Great job. Great, great job by India there. I mean, Thailand's done a great job also. I just really expect it out of Thailand. India, it's interesting to see their fighters come up. Nice punch. This might be decided by a punch because these guys are both exhausted. Short, short. Oh, a little bit low, a little bit low. Short kick. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that was what I was saying. It's right when the exchange is over. Okay, so this kick was good. This kick by India's, this this one's good. He knows, not this one, after this exchange, they flip around. This attempt by India to do the inside kick, the short kick, here. Not that one, the next one. That one. That one, if he had just had a little bit better technique, would have had it flush on the hogu because he read the punch. Good job by India. And then what did I say earlier? Thailand has been following up right when India thinks the exchange is done. Right? India thinks the exchange is done and then bah, a second a second kick. He's just like not, maybe, maybe he has to practice more kicking and blocking, which sounds basic, but I mean at this level, like they're already blocking a majority of the stuff. Most people throw at them anyway. So this stuff is like really well timed or really well, like really well placed with good accuracy. Oh. Sorry about that, folks. Boom. Nice try, nice try. And it goes to Thailand. That was a uh, that was actually more exciting than I thought it was going to be for a prelim match. I use oh it's minus fifty. That's also why it's minus fifty four. These guys can kick forever. Uh, I usually I fought like plus eighty, plus eighty seven. So obviously not as many exchanges and. Not as much. I would say there is as much dynamic stuff. People can do it. It's The game just doesn't happen as fast because we're not as fast as these dudes and our legs aren't as light. So interesting interesting match here. Uh, I'll, I would replay this. I would take away the small tactics. I didn't see any overarching things, but you can kind of see what I'm hoping you guys see as internet, intermediate level fighters, maybe advanced level fighters who are watching this, is that I want you guys to notice the progression. Like the stuff from range initially was not working for or was not working for India, so he started closing the distance, trying to fight more in distance. India kind of realized that, hey, you know, I'm, I'm losing a lot of points. I don't think he realized he was losing points at the end of the exchange. Otherwise, I think he would have exchanged a little bit harder. But Thailand ended up getting the points there, and then when they switched back to range, that's um, essentially it was like India can't win or has a hard time winning from from outside. He has uh, also a hard time winning inside. So between the two, he felt more comfortable with his outside range game. And so that's what he played. And Thailand is more than happy to play along with that because that's where he was scoring a lot of his points. Uh, it just so happened. Like I had, I had not, this is my first time watching this through and through. Um, but Thailand's uh, scoring ability at the end of the exchange is, ended, is what ended, what allowed him to win the match. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. And by the way, if you're still here, uh, there's a link below if you guys are interested in getting one-on-one -on -one online coaching now specifically if you're an intermediate level fighter because if you're a beginner uh, that's all that's good it's just like most of the stuff I can tell you you're gonna be able to find on YouTube like you're gonna be able to search up how to do a good cut kick really well how to practice your footwork that kind of stuff uh, so if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching though and you feel like you're an intermediate level fighter shoot me a call or uh, book a time on the one-on-one -on -one. we'll talk it out we'll figure out if we're a good fit and if we are then we'll move forward uh, but if not thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time